why haven't they fired him? Right now we're going to go a little bit deeper into some information that has come out about Luka Kaneshiro. It's kind of information that's been out there a bit, but it's being elaborated more on now that we know what is in the Niji Sanji contract and why they haven't taken him to account for what's going on in Niji Sanji. Of course, I want you guys to remember not to harass anybody, not to brigade anybody. This is just a deeper look into some things that maybe Niji Sanji should have fixed a long time ago. Like I mentioned in the intro, Niji Sanji Ian here could have done things better. Uh, hindsight is 2020. But they definitely could have done things a lot better when it came to Luka Kaneshiro in order to show the organization that there are no favorites because it will lower morale of the organization. It will lower morale of any other VTubers who are involved with the organization. Anyone who isn't a part of that favored group will feel slighted and they will feel less inclined to make great content sometimes. It will depend on the person, of course. And today, like I mentioned, we're talking about Luka Kaneshiro and the things that he's supposedly done in the past. It starts with Razir Warmonic, who also mentioned stuff about Luka before. Uh, she was someone who had helped Luka through a lot of things, and she starts right now. I never saw the Niji Sanji contract, but if this is true, this would make a lot of sense as why he was so weirdly secretive about me, and I wasn't allowed to speak to others at all, especially when trying to manage his projects outside of Luxium Park. I was given his company email which he told me would be graduated if I told anyone I had it. So he knew that there was the risk of being graduated if anyone knew in within Nidhi Sanji that he gave his email out. And as we know, through the leak that recently happened, yes, you are you and Nidhi Sanji are supposed to be the only ones who know the password, who know have access to it. Any third parties that have access to it, you have to inform Nidhi Sanji about, and they will correct that measure. He didn't, so he did have that risk. <clears throat> but I needed it to access his Minecraft account. He also started clearing out his Discord, our Discord messages, so he was trying to hide something a little bit, which, I mean, if you're a big or person in a big organization like that, someone who is getting income, I can understand that part. Just for reference, I tried multiple times to do this the right way by contacting Anycolor and Luca. I was not hostile, but they both ignored and ghosted me. Kind of like, uh, you know, he's our favorite child. He can do what he wants. That's what she was kind of getting at. That's what my interpretation of this is. Again, this is just my interpretation. I was merely trying to sort things out passively, privately. But Luca refuses to acknowledge my existence now at outside of taxes, where he still won't even address me by name. But yes, I more or less managed Java before Nidhi Sanji. That's, you know, Luca before. Uh, and that continued into him being Luca. Not only did I do projects, I often advise on his game choices, made popular game lists for him and more, tweets, stream ideas, kept him on track for streaming. I literally would wake him up to, or had to convince him to stream a lot as both Java and Luca make rules for a stream and more. I wasn't just a mod and any color did not know about my activities as I did try to reach out to them multiple times to be advised on certain situations and how to proceed, such as the ring fit stuff. But Luca, nor any color, was interested in helping. So she tried to reach out, according to what she's saying here. She tried to give them the benefit of the doubt and be like, look, I'm helping with this. I'm trying to help with this. What are your guidelines on this? What should I do for this? How can I continue in this endeavor that I'm doing? But according to what she is saying, again, this is just the account of one person. Take it kind of as like a rat. Take it kind of like as a narrative, as a rumor, if you will. Uh, they made her feel like a ghost. They made her feel like um, she was not to be talked to, not to be, you know, ignored, pretty much. And as she goes to Article 6, she shows Article 6. Subcontract. Party B shall not subcontract all or part of VTuber activities to a third party, which is what Luca did. Luca subcontracted it to her, according to her, Raziel, or jointly with a third party, except with the prior written consent of Party A, Party A being Nidhi Sanji. So if Luca wanted to do what Luca was doing, he had to get Nidhi Sanji's permission, which he did not, according to Raziel. Uh, but Nidhi Sanji didn't seem to care, again, according to Raziel. In the event that Party B subcontracts all or part of VTuber activities to a third party, or jointly conducts these activities with a third party, in accordance with the provisions of the preceding paragraph, Party B shall impose on such third party the same obligations as those of Party B set forth in this agreement, and shall be jointly and severe, severally, severely, I guess is what they mean, uh, liable with such third party for the acts of such third party. So, you know, basically saying she has the NDA if they do this together, from my understanding, but uh, any and all repercussions would hit both of them equally, as in if she was, if he was, uh, sued or anything like that she would be sued as well that is just my interpretation of this again she continues on 
he would send me screenshots of private chats between livers in their own private discords with no management to get my advice. In this one, he was complaining about how no one, aside from Shu, was helping him plan out the first Luxium anniversary. Nothing crazy, just proof. And we can go deeper into this proof. The proof here says, everyone, hey guys, since the anniversary is like two weeks away, I think that it'd be nice for us to start talking about what plans we have for it and how it'll go. Uh, could, should we go by debut order or reverse it being Vox missed the Ike shoe than me? I'm actually getting a virtual world theme park made. Pretty much, pretty sure all have already been figured out. All that out. I uh, would definitely love to have, if we can go through that during the day i was thinking since vr and i do plan to have fireworks in the world it would be a good uh to end the day with it then again i believe most of you together are together irl so i have other plans ahead he adds everyone again also on that note we'll be together in japan only january so you guys want to do off collab stream Shu is like oh yeah i suggest this on slack too but if we can play nintendo land it's a great game on the wii u and it's a five player game so it'll be fun vox continues i think that'd be great Honestly, after the anniversary, doing uh, more as a unit would be lovely. I think because a lot of us have been dra uh, struggling, Luxium hasn't really done much for a while, and it'd be great to feel more like a real unit again. Luca continues, We can set up a collab, yeah. I was thinking doing Mario Kart game with all the boys, which is a good idea. Since Hugo will graduate next week, we'll honestly have enough room up until Iluna. At the same time, I feel like it may be a bad move. So yeah, guys, do you have any plans for the anniversary? All in caps, at everyone. Hmm, choose the only one responding, by the way, at this point. December of 2022. I don't have any plans so far, apart from the Luxium Channel One Year Program, I guess. I think other groups have done, like, uh, rewatches of, of debuts and stuff, if y'all want to do that. Yeah, I was thinking that also. So, he, right here, is basically, from what I get, he sent this to her to show that he was actually trying to do something. He was actually trying to get things going, moving, but Luxium kind of, at least Vox Akuma and others were... Uh, you know, not doing anything, and uh, Shu was the only one kind of, you know, giving ideas and trying to do something with him. And here we move on to uh, other parts of the things that she she showed. She showed specific um, outfits, and the foot thing was something that was apparently not um, his idea, and he suddenly talked about it. But here's the, the thing that she wrote. She said, I would help advise out on the outfits. The iron, the lion hoodie cat thing was based on fan art. He really liked of Gilgamesh from FGO with basically the same hoodie. And here we have that. This is the F Go stuff. The lion thing with the F Go, the, the Fate Go, which is an anime. Uh, then she would continue with, he would get my thoughts on upcoming promotion collabs and marketing stuff. Um, and let me show you that tweet specifically. She says right here, he would get my thoughts on upcoming promotion collabs, marketing stuff. Right here would show the things for Ike Eveland, the things for Luca, Mista, Vox, you know, everybody involved in everything. So she was giving ideas on what would be good for merch for him and continuing on she shows things like the shu yamino and his luka kanashiro thing and that's where we we, re we reach what i had mentioned before here and on everything she continues on after all the pictures i don't know what happened to the text of this tweet but he would help have me help him decide stuff i like art for his merch this is the birthday merch art and we did not choose the foot image by the way that was a misunderstanding by management and he was rightfully upset about it so she was giving him a lot of ideas, as sometimes you do as a VTuber, getting, having friends. I shoot ideas off of friends myself. That is kind of a thing that happens within the VTuber community. Lastly, here's a screenshot of a person who, uh, from Slack that had been sending things to Luca that admitted that because of Luca and everything, they may have gotten fired if uh, Luca was no longer around. It says, to be honest, I bet everything on Ian. If Ian would not have succeeded, I would have been fired. So I am extremely grateful for your daily cooperation. And this is kind of interesting. It's an interesting look into it. Uh, that may be one of the reasonings, one of the rationales behind being so secretive, uh, seeing that people depended on him, things like that, and that, you know, he himself would have been fired. But like I said before, favoritism, favorites, all of that type of stuff negatively affects any other talents that find out about it any other talents that feel slighted by it it takes away your drive it takes away your passion a lot of times if you feel that you are singled out because you are not popular or because other people are singled out because they're popular and they get everything as the grand unified rat said which is also again all hearsay all he rumor that luxium was the favored group and luxium would get some nice perks because of it which would affect the morale, like I said, of the rest of the organization. I do not know the reasons why they didn't let Luca go, even if they supposedly knew about it. 
it is not right. And it, it shows favoritism, which doesn't reflect well on Eiji Sanji. They should be better. They should do better. This is the only reason I make these things. To hold people accountable and to make sure that they do better. Never to harass and never to send anybody any kind of hatred. Just my ideas and wanting things to be better in the community because I am a part of it. And that brings me to the end right here. Of course, comment down below if you have any ideas that you want to be shared, any commentary on what I have said, if you feel that I have made a bad decision, if you feel that I have said something wrong and need to have it corrected, let me know. I will uh, do my best to make sure to not make errors in the future in case if I made any errors in the past. Also, I don't want this to affect your mental health. If you guys are getting burnt out by it, if you guys are not feeling great about this, of course, take care of yourself first. This can all wait. This can be looked at later on. This can be forgotten. This will pass. And I do not want anybody in the community, whether mine or anyone else's, to feel negative thoughts because of this. I appreciate you. Of course, all of my socials are down below. Thank you so much for being here with me and for always supporting me. This is the Matt Salvi saying I will see you guys later. Bye-bye. Yeah.